highlight of his day. Good pitch from Rogers. Savoy with the hit. Justin Harris going to whip it over to first at Aaron Walters. That's one up and one down in the batter circle. And in the hole is Will Finning. And a swing and a hush. Here's Ortiz. Bounces over to Beck. Beck going to make the choice to throw it over to Walters. And Kobe Kelton hits it in between first and second. Here comes Austin Beck, gets the second. Beck safely at first. See Isaiah Madrid right behind Beck. Here's the bunt from Walters. Walters may be able to get there in time, but doesn't. But Angel State wearing the gold tops. Here's a swing into the glove of Isaiah Madrid, trying to turn the double play, and they do. But gave up a hit with two runs. That's popped into the air. Aaron Walters holds off Jake Rogers white stripe bottoms. The chopper over to Harris. Harris going to grab it, whip it over the first base for the second. Trying to settle down after giving the home run up to Adam Becker. Swing and a miss! At the top of this inning, they also went three up and three down. Cam Kelton popped up into the air. Going to right center field. Gloved. Smacks it in between the gap of second and third, lands softly in the left field, base hit. Harris able to get it in between the backs again, and that's runners on the corners for Angelo State. Here it comes, and Clark flies it over straight away to center, see if Kane's will be able to tag up for the sacrifice fly, and does as Harris advances to third. That's three runs, four hits, two RBIs for him yesterday to be exact. Austin Beck and able to get it in. Austin Beck with an RBI single ties it. Here it comes. Kobe Kelton smacks it over to left field with a gun. It is gone for Kobe Kelton. A two run homer. Angelo State leads 4 to 2 after that smack of the hit from Kobe Kelton. The second home run of this tournament for Mr. Kelton. And he's talked to tragedy. Hits the hand to the dugout. And Aaron Walters hits into Savoy over. And uh, Ryan Johnson pops it up high into the air. Walters waves everyone off and gloves it. And here is Rogers with the pitch. That bounces right over into the glove. Cam Kelton has to whip it over. Nice throw from Cam Kelton to Aaron Walters for the second. That was 14, last game. Becker smacks it to right field. It's deep. And Kelton dives for it, able to grab it. A great batting average. And on base percentage. He hits it in between the gap, gets to first. And a little bit of infield single potentially, no. Here comes a 2-1 pitch. Cam Kelton choppers it, stays fair in play. Here comes Lee, rounding third, heading to first. Here comes. Camp Kelton sliding to second. He earns that double. He claps his hand. Plenty of pickoff attempts over in Beck. Here's Kane, smacks it over to right field. Is it stay? Is it fair? It is stays fair. Ground rule double for Tom. Behind the game, two to two after a sacrifice fly. Here comes Kane diving to third. He's tagged out before getting face umpire saying, oh, I got him. And he says, oh, I know. I'm going to tag him out. Here's a clock to left center field. Justin Harris, is it gone? It is gone. A solo shot from Justin Harris as he rounds second, hits the third home, make it a seven to three ball game. Two home runs for Angelo State. Wow, their bats have been hot this tournament. Solo shot home run back at the top of the fifth against St. Edwards. Here's a hit into the glove of Justin Harris, whips it over to Aaron Walters, gets the first put out. And sometimes not so much, but that's the life of being a pitcher. And here's a strikeout. Here comes the pitch. And hits it, fastball to right center field. Play made by Thomas Kane. Kelton did have that two run homer to give them a four to two advantage. Here's Austin Beck, smacks it to left field. Here we go, is it gone? It is gone, Austin Beck. Here we go. My word, the freshman coming in clutch for Angelo State again. They extend the lead eight to three as he points over to his dugout. Business as usual. Two run homer in the second. 
Had another base hit. Kobe Kelton skying it over to right field. Play made easily by Walters with a 379 batting average. Clovers it up in the air again, but this time may stay and play enough for Adam Becker to make a play, and he does. And Kelton on that RBI double. Lee with a hit over to the right side. And off the wall goes past first and the second. That's a double. Fly it out to right field. Skies it over to right field. Will Fenning sitting there grabs it. Looks like J.D. Rangio sitting to the left of me. Yes, folks, he is an athlete as it's hit towards left center field. Kane getting underneath it, grabs it. Maple Leafs currently in a game seven in the first round against Tampa Bay Lightning, the back-to-back -back defending champs. Here Justin Harris grabs it, throws it over first, and gets the second out. Terrific crew showing up after the long last couple of days. Johnson into the glove of Beck. Beck easily tosses it over to Parker, guaranteed to at bat. For Angel State, 2-2 pitch, fired. Right field, shallow. And Will Fenning gloves it. And Justin Harris. Chopper goes over the head of Adam Becker. Here comes Harris, rounding second, going to third. Trip Clark goes to second, gets there safely. Ball gets past the second baseman. Actually, Isaiah Madrid, and they score. Angela State goes up nine to three. And Trip Clark is currently at second. Three one pitch, lifted high into the air. Ortiz going to make the play. Max Moore in relief pitcher role. Kobe Kelton smacks it in between the gap. That's multiple times they've done that. Here comes Clark rushing to the plate. An RBI single from Kobe Kelton. By the second baseman, Eddie Savoy. Pitch just gets it past the shortstop, Isaiah Madrid. Much worse. Sometimes you'd rather have 100 plus through weather as Justin Lee right to the shortstop, Madrid over to Ortiz. 1 0 pitch goes high into left field wall and play made by Justin Lee and a two run homer in the first. Kobe Kelton grounds it over to Camp Kelton. Camp Kelton has to try to get there in time and does. Ground out to shortstop in the fourth and had a base hit in the first and lopped it up straight. In the right field, Kobe Kelton races in and gets it. Relieves Chris Rodriguez and smack racing in. Whitman gets it. Run on the season and was able to call that. As Madrid easily going to make the play from shortstop. That run was the ninth run by Harris. Harris hits it into right field. Will Fenning is sprinting for it, but stops and pulls up as Eddie Savoy loves it. Has to be happy your performance against St. Edwards, but the monster, Angelo State, still in the play. See if they can turn the double play here. And they do. Madrid flight out to center field and ground out to shortstop. Base hit on the middle, and what a play from Austin Beck. Clark, ball, one strike, one out. The Shannon Clinic scoreboard. That's to the right of us. Savoy throwing in. And a chopper to shortstop. Madrid flips it over to first base. Swing and a miss. All time high. Having plenty of opportunity. And the third strike drop rule as it has to be thrown over. And that's another strikeout. And all the offense from West Texas A&M coming. And you want to beat the best. Walters gets a bunch on that one. It gets it over to left center field. Walters heading to second. And he'll get there safely on the double. And here comes the pitch. Lee hits it into the glove of Savoy, into the glove of Ortiz. And here it comes. Williams right into the glove. Of Mineta looks over at third for a while. His first ever appearance on the mound this season. And what a line shot, Mike. Swing and a miss. Wants to bounce or torch short to potentially be a double play. And Austin Beck lost grip of it. Going pitches, slams Madrid over to left field. Lee able to grab it. And that's it. That's it. Back-to-back -back champs are as Angelo State. They get an automatic bid, and they will be the first seed 
for the NCAA Division II South Central Regional.